Welcome to Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is the Lesson 33 series. This is Lesson 33B. And again, we're talking about having the Google Now reminders. So if you set a reminder, remind me at this time, or remind me when I get home, how to have those read out to you. In the first lesson, we just had it read it straight out to you. In this lesson, I'm gonna show you one of the ways you can have it uh, let you know there's a notification and then ask you if you would like it read and only if you say yes will it actually speak it out loud to you. So uh, before I show you how to do it, I wanna show you uh, the, the profile and task in action. So let me show you how it works and then after I show you how it works, I'll show you how to set it up on your phone. You Google the reminder. Would you like me to read it? Yes. Reminder reads, I have some Tasker tutorials I need to take care of. So you can see um, what happened there is uh, it let me know that there was a Google Now notification. It turned my screen on and there's a reason why it had to do that which I'll explain in a minute. Uh, got uh, took in the input of yes and then read it to me. If I had said no or just not responded at all, then it would not have read it out loud. Um, it only responds to yes. Uh, the, uh, uh, the, the reason the display has to come on is because in order for that particular get voice, which is only only type that's available in Tasker, in order for that to work, the screen has to be on. If the screen is off, then the pop-up does not work. Um, and of course we had turned the screen back off. The downside to that is even if your screen was already on, it's already on, so it's not gonna affect it coming on, but it still turns it off at the end of the task, which you'll see uh, in a minute. So let's, uh, let's actually build this task so you can see how I created the profile on the task and, and how it works. Okay, so uh, now I'm gonna show you how to set that up on your phone so that the Google Now will, it'll be announced that you have a notification, but it'll ask you if you wanna speak it out loud. And you can choose no in case you're you know, in mixed company and maybe that reminder that you put on there is not a reminder you want the whole world to hear about. And you know that, so you can say no. So uh, we're here in our profiles tab and I'm gonna click plus to start a new profile. The uh, beginning of this is gonna be a little bit repetitive. It's pretty much the same as what we did last time. I'm gonna call this go now speak um, just to give it a little bit of a difference for me uh, and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna select event we're gonna select a UI and select notification we're gonna select owner application we're gonna go to Google there's Google select Google uh, everything else we're going to leave the same. That's all it is. That's the trigger. Obviously the same trigger. Now we're going to go back up to new task. Select new task. I'm going to go 101. I'm going to name it the same thing. Easy to know what profile is going with what uh, task. Go now speak. Or go now spesk because I didn't choose speak. Good enough for me. Uh, and now we're gonna set it up. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add uh, an alert and we're gonna use the say command and we're gonna have it say a new Google now reminder. Would you like me to read it? So now Google Reminder would like me to read it. So it's letting you know that you have one. It's going to announce that you have one and then it's going to ask you, would you like me to read it? Everything else, uh, we're going to leave the same. Uh, again, as we did before, you can add an if statement and have it only do this if you're not in silent or vibrate mode. Probably a good thing to do. Get that from the previous lesson. And uh, now we need to get a response. Now this is where uh, a plugin comes in. You do have to use a plugin for this to work. 
Um, we'll do it, and then I'll explain why we're doing it in a second. So we're going to click Add. We're going to plug in, and we're going to choose Secure Settings. So the Secure Settings plugin, you'll need to get that from the Google Play Store in order to uh, continue with this. If you haven't done that already, hit pause, go download that, come back and continue. So you need the Secure Settings plugin. We're going to choose that, Secure Settings. And we're going to hit the little Edit button by configuration so that we can go into Secure Settings and decide what we're going to do. We're going to click Actions. So this is under uh, Basic Actions. And we're going to click Wake Device. Wake Device. Um, you can leave it to Screen and Keyboard Lights On and you can leave Duration to 1 second. And then we're going to go back. Oh, you know what I didn't do is I didn't click the Check button. I think I do that every time with this because uh, in Tasker you hit the back that means save but in secure settings there's actually a save button so we're going to click the save button and you'll see configuration screen and keyboard lights on one second timeout leave to none and there you go it's all set now we're going to add a get voice action so we're going to click plus we're going to go to input and in tasker input get voice. So this is the built-in tasker get voice. We don't need a title on it. If you wanted a title on it, you could put it on there. It would just show up on the top of the little box that lets you know it's receiving voice input. To me, it's not important. I'm going to leave it blank. Uh, language model, I'm going to leave it free form. And maximum results, I'm going to leave it one because it's a simple yes. And uh, that, everything else should be good. So we're going to go back. And uh, let's see. Now, let me explain this. The reason why we're having this screen wake with secure settings is because get voice does not work if your screen is off. If your screen is off and this task runs get voice, it's going to immediately, you'll hear the beep as if it were getting the voice, and you immediately will hear the other little sound that basically says, oh no, this didn't work. And uh, uh, there is a way to get voice input without that box and without your screen being on. But there's not a way built into Tasker. Um, that hasn't been added to Tasker yet. So uh, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how you can do that using another uh, plugin that you can get called Auto Voice. But in this lesson, I just want to show you how to do it without that plugin. And so you need to turn your screen on, then you need to get voice. And after that, we're going to add a say, another uh, say command to so go to alert. And go to say. And we're going to say, uh, reminder reads. And then I'm going to put a period just so it'll the voice will know to pause and then hit a label and choose notification title notification title which is the uh, the notification that triggered the uh, profile everything else uh, I'm going to leave the same and then I'm going to go back and then I'm going to add one more thing I'm going to go to uh, display and I'm going to go to system lock and so that basically turns your screen off if you have a lock screen it will engage the key guard I don't use a lock screen so not an issue for me uh, so there you go now I will give you a couple of uh, things uh, for example I said that under the say command you might want to check if and check uh, uh, if it doesn't match uh, vibrate um, because you don't want any of this stuff to happen if your phone is in silent mode you don't want it to get voice you don't want it to do anything so I would probably just add let's go ahead and do it just you can see it click the add button task and I would uh, say stop and then say if and then go to down here to silent mode 
and say doesn't equal and then say off and I would take that up to the top so if silent mode does not equal off then uh, it'll just stop it won't do any of this but if that's not true then it will continue through the process it will say that you have a reminder would you like to read it uh, the light will come on then it will get voice and then it will uh, uh, announce it to you and you can change up the order of these you know looking at it right now probably I'll move the say command let the let the screen wake up first as that way it wakes up and it does the say command you have plenty of time to get voice um, should work either way but that just seems like the best way to do it uh, now the other thing that I will say is uh, if you uh, I don't use a lock screen so this works great with my phone um, I just I don't know I, I've always felt that lock screens are a waste of time but that doesn't mean you do and maybe you use a lock screen and you like your lock screen uh, you can use secure settings to uh, unlock your screen uh, I have done other uh, another earlier tutorial where I uh, kind of showed how to do that uh, but you do uh, you, you can use secure settings obviously in this case I only used it to turn on the screen because my phone wasn't locked if your phone is locked you can try just turning on the screen and see if that works with Get Voice, but uh, it may be a case where you actually need to uh, use a different feature to unlock your screen uh, in order to turn it on. Um, and so you could do that and it should work the same. Anyway, this is how you could set this up. Uh, again, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how using Auto Voice. You can disregard secure settings and you don't have to turn your screen on. Uh, whether your screen is on or off, it can stay in that state and you can have this read to you without your screen coming on, which is uh, really the ideal way to me for it to work. So that's going to be the next lesson, so come back for that. Uh, that's it for this lesson. If you like this lesson, please click that like button. If you have any questions or comments or anything, throw them down there. Um, I'm really busy these days, but I do my best. Uh, eventually, I always get to every question or comment. Even if I don't necessarily have an answer, I will tell you I don't have the answer. But uh, I do my best. Um, uh, check out my channel for uh, Android app reviews, over 200 videos, really awesome Android apps that you uh, may not know are out there that are really great and help you get better use out of your phone. Uh, also do product reviews, you might want to check out those. I've got a lot of cool electronics and Android phone tablet accessories that you might want to check out. Uh, also, uh, if you have been watching these uh, videos out of order, which you shouldn't be, but if you have, then uh, subscribe or, or check a uh, favorite this playlist so you can go back and do all the lessons and just learn better how to use Tasker to create your own profiles. Anyway, that's going to be it until next time. So have fun with Tasker.